Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall. This time with a Black Friday deal that you can't miss. We get the usual $17 lowered to $14. And even better, on top of that, you can use my SKAG code and get another 20% off, lowering the price to $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, this is Kip Blaze, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. For you guys that are new to the channel, today's video is being recorded outside because it is a really good weather for today, so we have a really good weather, so it's sunny, sunny today, so why not? I mean, I like to explore diff different places to record, so... Today's video is about the new Adrenaline Drivers, the new AMD Adrenaline Drivers 20.11.2. So, as I say in all my videos, 20 is the year, 2020, 11 is the month, November, and 2 is the revision in that same month, in this case, November, once again. And well, this driver is optional, but at the same time, it is quite fun because it is optional but also Microsoft certified. So it is the first optional driver that I've seen that he, that actually has the WHQL certification. So uh, it's optional, but at the same time, it's certified. I don't know. But well, that's good because what I have to tell you is, yes, it's finally a good driver, at least for most users, I assume. So this 20.11.2 driver brings actually the, the support for the new World of Warcraft for the new World of Warcraft Shadowlands um, and also brings a lot of fixed issues but also so it brings a lot of fix, uh, fixed issues thing that wasn't presented on the previous drivers because they were actually working on this driver I think uh, but they also bring a lot of known issues so it brings more fixed issues but a lot more of known issues so it kind of seems that the issues kind of appeared so yes the the animal is it's closer now the drivers also bring some new things for example the um, when you are installing the driver it actually asks if you want to do a factory reset which is nice and it appears as recommended so instead of using the ddu you can actually use that feature that comes with the installation itself so it's a good thing and it also it also has the option to keep your user settings which in my opinion is very nice because you can actually keep track of the hours you are playing a game so that data won't disappear if you if you use the keep user settings uh, option which is pretty nice so we have the factory reset and we have the user options which are new things another new thing is the issue detection option which is now available to turn on or off in your uh, in your settings on the AMD settings well it is available now to put off or on basically it will upload automatically your bugs your driver errors your driver issues your software and hardware issues it will upload to AMD so they can fix it as fast as possible because most of the people have errors and and don't actually upload the errors so AMD can work on them so it is quite difficult and if you want to do that you have this option to automatically do it which is nice i mean which is nice now the big question that has has been bugging me for a lot of time is the FreeSync. FreeSync is broken at least for me in almost every driver for me and some other people so some of you that actually think that it's a problem of my monitor and gpu it is not a lot of people have the same problems as me and the people that have the same problems as me they also uh, use the same drivers as I've been using because they are the best at least for our combination um, in this case I've been using for a lot of time the 20.4.2 drivers and the 20.8.3 drivers also work fine with FreeSync now these drivers, I had, a, I had a person with the same problems as me telling me telling me in the comment section that okay, test the new drivers because damn cock, bad, bad cock, telling me to test the new drivers because they have fixed the the free sync issue, and guess what? They did. <laughs> yeah, finally they did fix the the um, the free sync at least in terms of newer drivers which is pretty damn nice in my 
pretty damn nice in my opinion. I tested several games and the only game that doesn't work 100% correctly with FreeSync is Forza Horizon 2, but the only driver that works really really well with Forza Horizon 2 is the 20.4.2 and anything after that Forza won't work properly. But besides that, all games work wonderfully with FreeSync on, so Assassin's Creed, Far Cry New Dawn, Control, uh, lots of games that I tested and they all work pretty damn fine so that's a big plus for me so yes finally we have a new driver with lot uh, with lots lots of things uh added new features um and everything is working fine including freezing finally seriously and well as for performance you'll have to stay a bit more to watch the comparisons in the end of the video but well that's everything for today so we have support for new games freezing seems to be fine finally um the performance is also fine no black screens no green screens no blue screens relieve also works fine everything is working fine including free sync and the performance is also great so finally it, it only took like several months and the new uh, and the new architecture to fix free sync in some in some or most monitors so yeah it's idiotic but it is what it is Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and also don't forget leave your comment in the comment section and let me know, let me and all the other user users know uh, what's your experience with these drivers. Now let's go to the part you want to see, the performance comparison.